March 3rd, 5 a.m. All right, so today is March 3rd and it's 1 p.m. I didn't go to the gym today. I had uh, to meet someone uh, earlier today. And um, this is just to document my uh, nutrition. So this morning, I only drank two cups of coffee. One here in the morning while I was getting the kids uh, lunch ready. And one when I was uh, at the meeting with my friend. So a uh, few minutes ago, I believe it was around 11.45. Around 11.45, I ate some mixed nuts. And that was that. this. Um, this is what I ate earlier. So I'm not really hungry right now, but later on, and I don't plan on recording much. Maybe I'll take a picture when I'm eating this. So this is a, a Chinese soup my husband bought for me. So later on, that's what I will have. I will warm it up, and then I will have it with this. Um, so that will be it. And lately, um, my nutrition has been pretty much simple. It's a lot of mixed vegetables and a little bit of rice, and then I'm pretty much set for the day. So I don't know after I ate this later today, I don't know when I'm going to eat it because I'm not hungry right now. I just ate some of those nuts while I was working behind the computer. So uh, my nutrition has been pretty simple and I don't, I haven't been eating a lot. And I have to be very careful on this because now that I've trained my body to sort of eat this uh, amount of food, so my, I feel my stomach is shrinking. And I have to be very careful not to eat the uh, junk food. This is when I usually mess up that particular uh, system. When I eat right and then I'm eating less and then I'm full very quickly. So whenever I eat some sort of a junk food, it could be candy or, or some chips or something like that. It will ruin that particular thing, you know not eating as much but like eat a good amount of vegetables um you know things like that that I, I don't know if i'm making sense i just have to be careful not to put uh junk food in my system pretty much so yeah that's it and since i didn't go to the gym there's nothing to explain uh tomorrow i will go uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do maybe chest because right now i'm still feeling my shoulders from yesterday's workout so I'm not sure if I should do legs tomorrow or do chest. Today is pretty much like a rest day. So if my shoulders still feel a bit sore like that, I probably will do legs. And then on Thursday when I go, I'll do chest. And then uh, Friday I probably will rest. And then Saturday I'll go to the gym while the kids are in their class. And then just do whatever based on uh, whatever is available at the gym. So that's the plan for now. So that's it. And later on, if I, I probably will take pictures of whatever I, uh, I eat. So I'm still working back there. And uh, yeah, so that's it. March 4th, 5 a.m. All right, so it's about 5.20 and it's March 4th. And I'm sitting here. It's 5 a.m. Last night... I uh, was thinking of this will be my workout for today, but I want to do, I sort of want to do legs also, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do legs or chest. If I do legs today, it's going to be the same thing as 228, which is these, those things that I did here. And uh, my leg pos position will be at shoulder width instead of close tense like last time. So, if I do chest, this is what I will be doing, and I probably will add some more. I can't think of any other things to do, but uh, could be 3 by 10, 3 sets of 10, or 7 sets of 10. I'm not sure if I do chest. So, yeah, we'll see what I do once I get in the gym. Because today is my busiest day, I have to go pick up my youngest, so I don't know how I'm going to feel when I'm in the gym. So because my nutrition wasn't that perfect yesterday, because I only drank that uh, Chinese soup, so I took a spoon of peanut butter this morning, just now, 
to give me that little extra energy I don't need supplement to do to get those energy so I just get my son ready he's gonna be reading to me in a few and then uh, I'm still getting their lunch ready today I'm giving them hot dogs so I like to get their hot dog ready closer to the time that they're leaving ah, so get your book where's your book and bring the Spanish paper so we could review fix your socks your, your thing so yeah, he's about to come and read to me. Mm -hmm. March 4th, it's 9.36. Just came from the gym. I am exhausted. Uh, an earlier clip this morning, I think I spoke about what I sort of wanted to do. I was uh, a bit conflicted between legs and chest. So once I got to the gym, I did uh, chest. I thought about it because today is my busiest, my busiest day where I have to travel, go pick up my sons uh, to different locations and back and forth. So I thought, let me save my legs for this afternoon. So I did chest today. So I will take a picture of this. Uh, oh, oh my God, I am exhausted. So this is what I did. Chest press, 32.5 pounds. Three sets of 10. I did one extra set because on my third one here, not only did I take a long rest, I think I miscount or something like that. When you're tired, you tend to miscount. I realized that when I uh, record my workout, uh, when I think I did certain amount and it's not that. Oh, and by the way, today I didn't record anything. So that's why I'm going over it like that. And uh, once I did that, I did dumbbell chest fly, 22.5, just regular chest fly. This I only did three sets and three sets of 10. And then I did uh, dumbbell re real delt fly. The way that I did this, I never done it like that before. So I used a 20 pounds and a 10 pound. I did, um, uh, for each set, I did 10 repetition with the 20 and soon after I switched to the 10 pound I did uh, 10 repetition of that and I took 20 second rest and then I went all over again Wow I was really exhausted that's a really good workout I, I like that one I probably will do it another time again and hopefully next time I did that I will record it then once I did that I was supposed to do cable fly the way my arm was feeling after I did these, I don't think my arm will be able to do the cable fly. Instead, I did the regular machines where my forearm, um, I think I have a recording, old recording of that where my forearm is on the pad and I'm doing this. That's the one that I did. So I did uh, three sets of that, I believe. Yeah, three sets of that. But I increased the weight to 75 pounds. I usually do 70 pounds, but today I decided to increase it to 75 pounds. Then I did uh, upright wall. Uh, it's not in that order. From down here, it's not in the order that I did them. I think after I did the uh, real delt uh, fly, I did uh, shrugs, 45 pounds, three sets of 10. And then I went and did bend over reverse fly, three sets of 10. That's where my, uh, my chest is against my knees. And I did that, three sets of 10 for, 30, uh, for 10 pounds. The way that I did this is kind of, I hold the, the dumbbell like this, you know, I'm bending down like that. I'm doing this and then soon after, after I did 10 repetition and I did, I hold it uh, neutral like that and I did uh, another reverse fly like that. That's the way I did that. So it's, even though I say here I mark uh, uh, three sets of 10. So, uh, okay, I did mark it here. It's 20 repetition per set. So one uh, where my hand is holding the dumbbell like this and I'm going side to side and one where I hold it like this and I'm going side to side. So that's how uh, it's equal to 20 repetitions. And then I did uh, shoulder press with a 30 pounds. I was gonna reduce the, uh, the weight and I was like, you know what? Even though I'm kind of tired, I'll do as much as I can, but I do not wanna reduce the weight. Uh, I don't wanna, cause I need to build up my strength. But some of these, uh, I should, uh, well, the way that I'm doing them, it's, uh, never mind what I was going to say. All right, and then what did I do? Uh, forearm, and uh, I did not record that. Like I said, th the way that I did the forearm with the dumbbell, 10-pound dumbbell, where I hold the, 
the dumbbell like this and I put my entire forearm, my arm, my elbow against a pad and I'm doing this. Only my forearm is moving. I did, ten, I did 10 repetitions like this, 10 repetition neutral, so that's 20, and 10 repetition like this, and then 10 repetition like that. So that's 40 and then I just switch it around like that. So 40 per set, per arm. So that was a lot. Uh, that's that. Uh, shoulder press, upright row, seated. Okay, I explained that. And I did uh, upright row barbell with 40 pounds. And uh, I believe I did five sets of that because I felt like I could have done more. So I, you know, I uh, did a couple extra sets. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And after each of these exercises, not after each set, once I finished everything, let's say for instance this one, I did the chest press. After I did all three sets of 10, I went to the leg lifts. I did uh, uh, leg lifts, one for uh, my lower ab, one uh, for my left oblique, and one for my right oblique. So for each set, it's like 30 uh, repetitions. So after each of all these exercises, I went on the on the leg lifts to do some leg lifts. So I'm sorry I didn't record anything. Uh, the gym was pretty packed today. Uh, and uh, I really wanted to get that out of the way. And one thing, while I was coming here, one thing I have to keep in mind, while my kids have that schedule, I have to make sure either I do legs on Monday or Tuesday because that's my least uh, busiest day. I don't have to do a lot of run around. Like yesterday, I had to meet somebody so I couldn't really go to the gym, even though I could have gone after, but I, I decided not to. But anyway, the point is that the, the those days that I'm not that uh, busy, Monday and Tuesday, that's when I should do legs. Like today, there's no way I'm going to be able to do the way the type of exercises that I've been doing now to be able to do it um, on my busiest day. Tomorrow, forget it. I'm not going to do that. Uh, maybe if I do go to the gym tomorrow, I probably will focus on abs only. And yeah, just abs and maybe core, uh, foam rolling or things like that. But uh, no upper body and no legs because I have to do a lot of run around. Friday, maybe Friday I could do legs. Uh, my son's, uh, yeah. They come out really later, but I don't have to go pick up my youngest. So Friday, I could do legs. So it's either Monday, Tuesday, or Friday. Saturday is uh, kind of... Uh, I don't want to rely too much on a Saturday to do legs because I have to go pick them up from their class. And Sunday, I just want to rest. I want to spend the time with the family and catch up with the kids. If they have tests, I have to study with them and things like that. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to get the, the dinner ready right now because before you know it, time is up. And uh, when I pick up my oldest, I have to take him to the library. He has reports to do. So, yeah, let me get that going. So, that's it. I just want to give you a little uh, sneak peek of what I've been doing in terms of my exercises. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention while I was about to take off my clothes to take a shower and stuff. Uh, my nutrition, like this morning, I took a spoon of peanut butter because yesterday uh, I didn't really eat too well. And I could feel my abdominal is going down and it's also showing on the scale. I'm below 135. So it's, you know, it's getting there. I'm, even though I'm doing all of this, I'm not specifically focused on any plan. It's just that uh, lately, I guess my energy is coming back for some reason and I've been doing this type of workout. So yeah, I think this morning I mentioned it about this peanut butter. So I'm probably repeating myself. So yeah, that's it. All right, so this is what I'm going to eat after I take a shower. I have a little bit more than three ounces of white rice here because there's not that much left in the rice cooker. So I just want to get rid of it so I could make new one, fresh one for the kids for tonight. And uh, I did take pictures of uh, how I started. I wasn't planning on recording, but um, I put the uh, hot sauce at the bottom and a whole bunch of uh, mixed vegetables and then hot sauce on top. So I'm going to warm it up and that's what I'll be having for lunch. 